What is going on, everybody? We have a very fun, exciting, and cool rip today. One of my favorite rips because it's so laid back. It's $50 a box. You could hit some autos. You could hit some cool inserts. They have the uh, short printed influencer cards. And I'll definitely be looking out for uh, Shy City and Striker Breaks. Two very good content creators on this platform. You got, yeah, autos. You got the social media follow back inserts, which is cool. You can get some baseball players to follow you back on a social media platform. I mean, I don't know why anyone would want that. Like, you want Jordan Alvarez? I'm looking at the checklist. Jordan Alvarez to follow you back on Instagram or something? Like, they'll de they're definitely just going to mute you. I don't understand how someone wouldn't just sell that. And I wonder to this day if last year any of the guys that follow, had to follow someone, any of the players, if they still follow them. That's what I would like to know. So if any of you guys hit one of those inserts last year and someone followed you. What is this red? Hank Aaron. I don't know if this is a, some kind of insert. But yeah, let, I want to know. I'm curious. Do they still follow you? Because I imagine Mike Trout definitely doesn't care what some dude in Nebraska is doing on a Wednesday. So, all right, there's Shohei in his Dodgers uniform in a little bit of trouble right now. Heston Kerstad, if I even said that even close to correct, that's a cool one. So yeah, I guess I guess we got Shohei, so we could talk a little bit about. A little entanglement with his interpreter. And my stance on it is I literally do not care. We all gamble. We're all sick in the head. I mean, if, if Shohei, think about it. You're in a foreign country. You don't really know anyone. You got one dude that speaks your language, and he's, he just so happens to be a degenerate gambler. You're absolutely loaded. Yeah, I'd be giving the guy a couple bucks to play around with. Like, yeah, man, I'm bored as hell. We're here in the dugout. There's nothing going on. We got some downtime till the next game. Put some cash on a soccer game or something. Let's watch it, man. Let's just chill, watch the game, have a little bit of action. And that's probably what happened. I don't, I don't really buy that the money just disappeared from the dude's account and he just hasn't noticed. When you're that famous... You've got people, you're a brand. you got people working for you, looking at everything. So I just don't buy that. It was stolen. I imagine they were bored just betting on some games. But that's not any of our business. I get it. Oh, it's illegal in uh, California. Well, screw the state of California. That's on them. They should be getting fined for not just legalizing gambling. That's their problem. Shohei did nothing wrong. I mean, as long as he didn't bet on baseball. That's that's the only way I could see... Ooh, this is a cool one. Frank Thomas. This is... I know they have the cereal box ones. They're great. Now I got my cat wanting my attention. There's Frank Thomas. I don't really know what that is, but it looks really cool. And I don't know why I didn't sleeve the... Who, who did I hit? And yeah, this is the become a big leaguer thing. I don't think uh, they'll choose me, but yeah. So yeah, Shohei Otani, totally innocent. The guy did nothing wrong. Only if he bet on baseball would I even care a tiny bit. And that's if he's betting on his own games. I don't give a, I don't give a crap if he's betting on a Marlins game or something. Don't care. So. On the topic of the Shohei thing, guys innocent, did nothing wrong. Gavin Newsom is a schmuck for not legalizing sports betting, but legalizing everything else. And just going after people for gambling on sports when your state, your state's infrastructure is crumbling. The homeless population is booming. Ooh, what is this? Mascots. Mascot. I don't know. Isn't capable of moving quietly. He's a six foot six elephant. 
He brings a smile to everyone's face. Is his name actually Mascot, or am I an idiot? Why does it say Mascot's Mascot? Deathlike's Mascot. Here he, here he just doesn't have a name. I don't know. It's a cute card, though. That's why I do like this set. I, you just can't get mad at it. It's 50 bucks. I can't get mad at this thing. Alright, Bo Bichette. Yamamoto. What a flop, huh? What a first game flop. It's a long season. He'll get some more shots. There's the Iron Man, Cal Ripken. And a Yamamoto. I feel like I should sleeve it only because some idiot will probably pay way more for it. I actually sold the two or three days after he signed with the Dodgers. I sold his... Aqua NPB PSA 9 card for like 400 something dollars. It's it's definitely a sub 100 card right now. But it just goes to show you guys, always sell the hype. Always sell the hype. Let someone else take the gamble that this guy is going to be a one in several hundred thousand player that will make the Hall of Fame or something. There's Orbit. And no, I assure you, my cat is not hungry this time. She's just spoiled. She just wants to be pet, and she will when this video is over. We get a Corey Seager. This looks like finally a different border. I don't know. Maybe I've just been skipping over some of these other more rare cards, but it, it seems like there hasn't been as many colored border cards. I could just be tripping here. No autos or anything yet. Luciano, Steel, India, Shohei, to the moon. In his Dodgers uniform, very poorly photoshopped too. It just looks like, totally looks like AI. But there's Shohei to the moon. And his cars will not go to the moon. If the FBI decides to nail him on something. I mean, I don't know why they would. But Will Smith. There's a blue. So they do exist. You can hit other color rarities. There's a blue. See a first box? Nothing... Two crazy. There's Caminero, rookie card. He has rookie cards in here, I guess. Ichiro, the cool border, and Gunnar Henderson. Two packs left in this first box here. Nemo, Soriano, Thomas, Mountcastle, Dallas Garcia, and Andrew Abbott. Man, I was really hoping I was going to hit. I, mean, I still got another box. I did get two. I want I would love to hit a striker card because, man, I, I do watch a lot of striker breaks. When I'm home chilling and I'm on the computer and it's like a little after five, maybe I'm editing a video or something, just browsing the internet. Damn right, on one of my monitors I got striker breaks going. Probably... I try not to watch a lot of other sports card openings and content. And I just knock that over. Try not to because, I don't know, I try, I try to try to not let them sort of infect my brain, you know. Try not to start mimicking their mannerisms and try to be unique in my own way. Try to be unique. Try not to care too much about what other people are doing on their channels. Striker Breaks is just too damn good at what he does. Can't uh, not watch him. It's relaxing. It's good. Commentary. Something that's kind of lost on people when they do this. The art of commentary. A lot of these jabronis just... Just read the name of the cards. The people on the cards. They'll give their shitty take. Their shitty, very safe take. On whatever's happening around the league. There's a McLean. And that's sort of it. Striker breaks. That is just not the case. All 
All right, we got the Martian. Soderstrom. Solaire. J-Rod and Yoshida. To the Moon does look good. Do like the To the Moon card. But, man, I, I'd love to hit an auto. At least at least if I can hit a striker or Shy City. You're damn right, I'm getting that thing autographed. I'm not taking no for an answer from those guys. And they're a little more likable this year. I remember last year it was like Card Collector 2 and Jeff Wilson. I mean, Card Collector 2, I just... Ah, man... The, I, I don't I don't watch his videos at all. I can't I can't stomach it. But I can't well I can't even get to the videos. When I see that guy's thumbnails, I'm nauseous. I am just nauseous. You just see a guy that has no self-respect, just making the most repulsive and over the top faces. And, and it works. I mean, I made I made a thumbnail a couple days ago. Just for fun. Of just I just literally typed in Soy Boy. That's a cool one. I typed in Soy Boy on Google Images, put it in the thumbnail, and it's just a guy just you know one of those uh soy latte drinkers in Portland. And yeah, threw him on there. And guess what? Engagement was way up. Impressions was way up. I just I can't do it myself. But you know what? I could I could take other people's faces and do it. And it's funny. But you'll never see me doing that. So and then Jeff Wilson obviously just a uh, total shill for everything bad about this hobby. And gives horrible advice, horrible investing advice. He's a genuine... I bet, I bet he's a nice guy. I mean, don't get me wrong. But the guy's entire business model is just praying that some idiot comes along and overpays for a card. There's a Juan Soto in a New York jersey. Bryce Elder. Menez and Derek Jeter. It's a cool one. We keep moving. Striker breaks. Genuinely intelligent, hardworking guy. Hats off. Striker breaks. Yeah, I'll probably be ripping some retail of this. I do. I mean, it's an enjoyable product. I'm Matt Bernie Brewer, Zach Gallon. And you could hit some cool stuff out of this. You could hit autos. There's definitely some cool cards to be hit. I just haven't hit them. <laughs> I haven't hit them. But it's nice that you get to see, you know, everyone has a shot at hitting Otani in the Dodgers jersey. Because, you know, Series 1, I think it was a super short print. I don't think anything has come out in between that. Bibby. Cabrera, Matt Olson, and Dansby Swanson. But yeah, what do you guys think of Big League? It's only 50 bucks. It's mostly for little kids. There's Brian De La Cruz. Again, I don't know. I don't think it's a special border because it's not backwards. It's Corbin Carroll. You get Yelich, blue. Juan Soto as a Yankee. Contreras. And we got three packs left. My cat is going nuts. She's got the zoomies right now. She can't wait till I'm done with this video. Philly Fanatic and Anthony Rizzo. Okay, we're coming down to the final two packs here. And I'm gonna I guess I'll have to do retail as well. Looks like we're not hitting an influencer card. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's actually a good one. So Dan Raffaella. Would you look at that? That is actually a pretty good card. Maybe just save this whole rip. How do you like that? Bam. Take that all day. Opening act. 
So yeah, there we go. How do you like that? Big league. And our final pack. Siri, Gray, Naylor, Volpe, and Logan Webb will round us out. So what did you think of Big League this year? What do you think of the Influencer Checklist? I definitely think it's maybe better than last year. At least for me. I think it's better than last year. But that'll do it here for me, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Agent rips with his fingertips. He'll go bro.